why are we looking at a bunch of pictures of old butt fighters with their lunch? Uh, those are their pets, Deuce. Oh. You think one day they'll have a picture of me and Zach? Dude, for the last time, I'm not your pet. Shush now. Who's a good boy? Check it out! The smacker and her killer stench gator, Zoe. Aw, so cute. Oh, oh, the flicker with the buttless monster. Ow! <laughs> so flicky. <laughs> Is there anything funnier than a monkey's butt? Ow! <laughs> yep. Man, all the great butt fighters had butt fighting pets by their side. Animals love kicking booty. This can only mean one thing. Lunch? Huh, I am kind of hungry. Okay, two things. Lunch and... A nap? We got up really early to line up for this. Dude, you're killing the drama here. Where was I? Lunch and nap and... Oh, yeah! I need a butt-fighting pet. Uh, hello. You're not exactly responsible pet owners. <gasps> How can you say that? Silas Jr., lunchtime! What the? What? You know I love sushi. Silas Jr. Jr., lunchtime! Hey! You know I love the frog legs! <sighs> hey, Silas the Third. I know you love butts. Look! Gran is in here, too! Yeah, well, this time it'll be different. Hey, why don't we get a slam poetry loving lobster? Too obvious. What about a dinosaur? If you're not gonna take this seriously, why bother? Whoa, dangerous. Someone could trip over that. You're a true hero. Yep, it's what I do. go swimming. Deuce, quit it. I'm up, I'm up. Hmm, you do something different with your hair? And maybe your face? Huh? Ah! <laughs> Gotta be a dream, gotta be a dream. Can't be a dream. Where are the giant butt eating marshmallows? I never even got to try pickled eggs. Uh, overrated. Okay, I'm ready now. <laughs> now, that tickled! <laughs> Look at that! He's a friendly little guy. Little? Hmm, he's gonna need a name. Something powerful and heroic. Something worthy of the best butt-fighting pet ever. So, Doug. Yeah, Doug. Now let's go have some dino fun together. Whoa. <laughs> I'm okay. I fell on Zach. Oh. This is gonna be so awesome! Yes! Uh... Jonas, look out! He's gonna eat you! What's the matter? Why aren't you scared? <laughs> now. Ugh. Okay, obviously I wasn't thinking so much. I get it, Doug. You're a gentle giant. But you're so big, I bet you can smash stuff good. Yeah, Doug, smash! Yeah. No, smash it! Smash it to smithereens, like this. No, like this. Smash, 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 smash! Ugh, please. I need somebody to smash something, now! Oh! That's not what I meant. Okay, so that didn't go so well. Uh, yeah, it's cause he's super boring. Hey, he's not boring. He's just really, really, um, well, he likes to, you see, okay, fine. Maybe he's a tad boring. Hmm, know what? I bet his butt isn't boring. His butt? You want to detach the butt of a prehistoric beast? 
It's brilliant! Don't worry, I got this. <clears throat> Can you hear me in there, Doug's butt? It's me, Deuce, fellow butt. You are your own butt. Feel the wind rush between your cheeks. Fields of triple pie blow softly over your rump. Smell the sweet stink of freedom in the air! <laughs> Whoa, you did it! We've got our very own buttasaur! They call me the Butt Whisperer. Now we can really have some fun. You stay here and try not to get into any trouble. Ready? Ready! <laughs> Try to keep up, Eleanor. Is that a dinosaur's butt? Where's the rest of him? How are we supposed to know? What? Don't worry, I'm sure he's fine. Stop the wedding. That's Esmeralda, my evil twin's butt. <gasps> so, you ditch the top half and you're feeding the butt burgers. Yep, and yep. I know I say this so much it's lost all meaning, but this is so irresponsible. What? It's totally irresponsible. We're great pet owners. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. All gone. I'm sure you're overreacting, Eleanor. <laughs> Maybe there's a fire? and none of the responsibility. Who could have known this would end so poorly? Do you need something? You know you need to fix this, right? Uh, yeah, I know. Deuce, I'm gonna say something and I don't want you to freak out. Whatever it is, it's cool, bro. I mean, I clean my ears with your toothbrush. You what? No, I mean, it's time for us to be responsible. You mean you're gonna stop playing with your butt all day and actually do some homework? Okay, not that responsible. We're gonna reattach Doug's big, boring body with his wild and crazy butt. Doug's butt likes burgers, right? So we just need a big, round, squishy, burger-looking thing as a decoy. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Why? Seriously, why? I don't get it, guys. Uh, I don't think I like this. Just wait, it gets worse. Now let's go find your butt. Here, Dino Butt, Dino Butt, Dino Butt. When Doug's butt sees you, he'll crash into Doug and bam, Dino and Butt rump union. Whatever you do, don't get eaten. But I'm probably so delicious. Huh? Whoa! Hold on, Deuce! Would you look at that? Doug's butt just missed Doug! A dino and his butt have a special bond, bro. Like us. Sure, awesome, whatever. Just reconnect them and save the city! No, he's right. Doug is meant to be with his Deuce, and his butt is meant to be with his Zack. Now you lost me. When did it get all thinky in here? The burgers weren't making him crazy. Missing his best friend was. Oh, how I've missed you. 
so what? We just leave them? Trust me. Or maybe they both just really love burgers. So now what? Hmm. It's perfect. The Cheek Burger gets a new mascot and Doug and Bud are happy. I gotta admit, this is almost actually responsible. You haven't seen the best part. Well, it looks like it all worked out in the end. What could possibly go wrong? I really gotta work on my timing. From Butt TV World Headquarters, this is the Morning Constitutional with me, Annalisa Flangelente. <laughs> and me, her award-winning anchor butt, Rosie Cheeks. First up, a feature fluff piece from our very own Annalisa Flangelente. Why did she get that feature? I'm the anchor butt. Never in all my... Thanks, Rosie. Maple Town has always been quick to thank our incredible butt fighters. But rarely do we honor one heroic resident who never goes off duty. The Butt Menace Meter was built to reassure citizens afraid of surprise butt attacks. So to any evil doing butts out there, I say... Sweet Dapper Cream that's loud! Ha! First one here! This better be good. I was dreaming that I was a giant bum made out of cheese. Every time. How do you do that? Well, I eat a lot of cheese before bed. I meant Zach. How'd you beat me here? Come on, Eleanor. I don't need some machine to tell me when it's time to kick butt. I use my instinct. I can predict what butts will do. Anytime, anywhere. All right then, butt brain. What set off the meter this time? Ah. <sighs> Probably him. <laughs> Whoa! Eleanor, look out! It's the butt watch! Thanks for the heads up, Deuce. Anytime. Attack! And that's how you squash butts. Uh, uh, look at that. I already saved the day. No thanks to you guys. What did you do? Well, he did eat us once. I just... The butt meter is destroyed. This is a disaster. Eleanor, chill. It's not a big deal. Without the meter, we have no warning of surprise attacks. <gasps> Okay, okay, everyone, calm down. We don't need to be afraid of a surprise butt attack because I have instinct. Ah, uh, come on! I'll Whoa. prove it. I see a hungry butt chasing down an ice cream truck. <laughs> that butt will jump on the truck's bumper and force him to stop. Oh. Come on, Deuce does that every day. The butt will order a 20-scoop belly buster, eat it, realize he has no money, and try to give it back. Instinct! Instinct! He eats a belly buster literally five out of every six meals. Time to get my predict on. I regret nothing! This butt will stink. <laughs> We will be mooned. <laughs> the sun will rise. <laughs> Sweet, I finally get to test out the auto tune on this baby. Attention, please. Can I have your attention, please? Y'all get ready for more instant ink. <laughs> He's not some 
sort of butt genius. He's just predicting totally obvious stuff. Zach Freeman, how does it feel to be Mabel Town's newest sensation? Oh, come on! Wait, I'm getting another one. I'm seeing that girl. She's gonna run out, grab the mic, and freak out. Maybe even call me a fraud. Ugh! Don't you people see? Zach is a fraud! Oh! Can't stop self-fulfilling prophecy! Yes, sir! Yes! Stop cheering! The Great White Bug could be planning an attack right this second! We're sitting ducks! Hmm, there's an idea. So, you guys want to take over Mabel Town this week? Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm easy. No plans. Any more predictions from the all-knowing Zack? The musical version of the Plunger Games will open to rave reviews tonight. Of course it will. Dang Bumbra Stench is in that. She always gets good reviews. Wait a second. I think I just got an evil plan. Who am I talking to? I'm terribly sorry about this Dame Bumbra stench. Triple sticky peanut butter. My friend needs his comeuppance. You're a national treasure. Dame Bumbra stench's new musical was kicked! Sold a record 40 seconds after opening night last night. Horrible, horrible reviews. But more importantly, Zach Freeman's instinct was wrong. He is now officially a nobody. In other news, meet Mabletown's new, new sensation. This cat can play a keyboard with her butt. Can't believe I was so wrong about instinct. That's it. Keep those boxes moving. The Prince and Maurice, what are they doing here? Yeah, get that shiny metal button here. Move it, move it, move it. This is the biggest robot shipment ever. But first, we gotta not get caught unloading them because we're screaming like little bots. Yeah, I'm just excited is all. Well, go be excited in the van. Okay. Attention, Attention butts and humans. Darn auto-tune. Humans and butts of Mabel Town. This is an emergency. This better be good, Zach. Okay, I know most of you are having a hard time believing me lately, but the Great White Butt is planning a huge robot attack. <laughs> Please, you have to listen to me. What? It's okay, dude. I believe you. Really? Nah, I was just practicing my new auto-tune song. It's called Dude, I Believe You. <sighs> We got some butts to kick. I thought you said I was a fraud. You were. I mean, sorry. What was that? Sorry. Huh? I think she said calamari. I kind of sabotaged you so we could fix the butt meter and things would go back to normal. Forgive me? <laughs> so not the time, Deuce. I predict you betcha. Now let's stop this robot invasion. Deuce, some butt kicking music. <laughs> I said butt kicking music. That's more like it. Onward to Mabel Town and victory! <laughs> well, once we get the balance issue sorted out, to victory! But, Dad, it's going to be the biggest robot invasion in history. No way we can do this on our own. Sorry, Ellie. Zack's instinct made a fool out of a lot of people, and I can't afford to look silly. Now, if you'll excuse me, I seem to be a little stuck. What now? I think I have an idea. Come on. <laughs> You realize neither of us has any idea how to actually repair our broken butt meter, right? It doesn't have to work. It just has to look like it. Okay, but what about the siren? This is back! Check it. <laughs> Speaking with this voice makes this sound very... Sound... Back! <laughs> That 
That's it! Deuce, you're a genius! It's too late! Onward, robot army! Bring it on! Ah! Come on, guys! The meter says we're under attack! Let's kick some butt! No! What? That's not the butt meter! That's just some dopey bum screaming in a girly voice! Hey, that's hurtful! Attack! Get you for this sack and your little butt too. You can't keep your guard up forever. Maybe not, but he has pretty great instinct. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you the butt. Thanks, Eleanor. I know it wasn't easy for you to finally admit I'm so awesome, like so awesome. Yeah, looks like everything's back to normal. Uh, guys, guys, you know I'm still up here, right? Now no one can stop 